In this video, I will show you how to plot a smooth curve out of scatter data using GNU Octave or MATLAB. To support my channel, you know what to do. In this example, I will artificially create a few scatter data points using known function sine x for the demonstration purpose. But you can use any scatter data. I came up with a few random number between 0 and 2 pi for data x and corresponding sine x for data y as shown in the table. When you plot it using scatter plot, you can see the sine function looking data, but you can see there are a lot of gaps between data points. Question comes how to fill gaps by interpolating between data to plot smooth curve. Luckily, GNU Octave or MATLAB offers a built-in function called spline. The spline function returns the interpolated data using polynomial interpolation based on given data set and points where you want it to interpolate. First of all, let's visualize given scatter data set. I would start with clear all, close all to wipe off existing variables and to close all figure windows. In line 2, I added a command to increase figure window for video recording so you can simply ignore this for your practice. I use the variables x1 and y1 for x and y coordinates of given data. I can use the built-in function to plot visualize the data using red empty circle. I can also increase the line width and marker size for better visualization. Also, I added x and y labels and customized ticks and lower and upper limits for x and y axis for better plot. At the end, I also added grid for easy data read. When you run this script, you can see a scatter plot. To ensure that the data are on the sine curve and cross-reference for future polynomial interpolation, you can add the true sine curve in addition to the scatter plot. If those overlap, it means that they are in line with sine function. I use variable x2 and y2 for the true sine curve and plot using blue solid line. As you can see, those are on the sine curve as expected. Next step is to interpolate based on given data points in order to plot smooth curve. We'll use variable x3 and y3 for the interpolated data set. We'll use a built-in function spline. The spline requires the pair of x and y coordinates for scatter data and the vector for the interpolation for x coordinate. Since we would like to make the smoother curve, we can generate a large enough vector between 0 and 2 pi using linear space. The linear space needs the lower and upper bounds of the vector, followed by the size of vector. However, unless you define, the default size is 100, which is enough for this example. Now I can calculate the interpolated data y3 using the spline function. So we are ready to plot the interpolated data. Again, I use the plot function to add the interpolated data. When you plot it, you can see another curve passing the scatter data but closing up the true sine curve, which is blue one. The discrepancy between true sine curve and interpolated one is mainly due to the lack of the numbers of data. To minimize the gaps, you can add a few more data points. For example, I'm going to add 1 and 5.5. Then you can rerun the script to see if the interpolated data becomes nearly identical to the true sine curve. When you have more data, the two curves will be nearly identical. Thanks for watching this video until the end. Hope this video found useful for you. Please consider subscribing my channel if you want to continue to watch similar videos like this in future. Please give thumbs up if you enjoyed. Please feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section down below. See you next time.